many people practice yang form. When you see a form that looks like this, and I'll uh, do a little bit of it here, you see the very even, slow flowing movements where the whole body is just like liquid. This is Yang form, named after Master Yang. Very relaxing, very healthy to do. But there are other forms as well. You're going to see Chen form. I want you to recognize the different forms when you see it. And Chen form mixes the fast movements with the slow movements. This is a little bit of uh, Chen form from the beginning. different form. And then there are uh, other types of forms as well, animal forms. You'll see a little bit of that uh, snake form as an example. like a snake. There are forms based on ancient Chinese weapons. The sword form is very popular. I'll show you a little bit of that. This is Yang sword form. So there are many different forms, but there's also other Tai Chi practices as well. There's push hands, which is a two-person practice in which you're basically trying to throw each other off balance, flowing with the movements of the other person. The movements are not preset. But everything is spontaneous. <laughs> okay, thanks. Each teacher will perform the Yang form a bit differently than the next teacher. Yet each must maintain the basic principles of the Yang form, such as fluid, continuous, relaxed movement, being rooted into the ground, each joint moving like a string of pearls sequentially so that all movement flows out from the legs and hips and proper alignment of the body. The differences among the teachers stems from their emphasis on different aspects of Tai Chi, such as the martial arts aspect, health and healing, meditation, and Tai Chi as a performance art. While each teacher must be aware of all aspects, each may be more interested in one or another aspect. Another effect on the way the teachers move is the variety of forms they've learned, 
If a teacher has learned several snake forms, for example, their yang form may absorb some of the snake-like movements and give it a snake flavor. Yang form is the most popular Tai Chi form. Just as the other forms, it develops balance and coordination, promotes relaxation, makes you more aware of your body, calms the mind, and connects the mind and body. The form also builds the strength of your concentration and begins to strengthen the immune system. You become more aware of the slow flowing momentum moving through your body. Any tense muscles will interfere with the flow of momentum, so you can more easily notice where you're tense. You try to allow any tension to give way to the momentum. In this way, the momentum acts like a wave of water washing away your tension. When your mind and body are joined and your breath deep and smooth, you learn to allow internal energy or chi to flow through the body. Chi is the energy of life and it is the medium of communication of all the cells and organs of the body. When chi can flow easily through all parts of the body, the cells and organs can communicate and better regulate the body's health. Chi also connects us to the rest of nature. Each organism is vivified by chi and is connected to all other organisms and to the planet as a whole, much like the cells of our body are connected to the body as a whole. In this way, by healing ourselves through Tai Chi, we also help to heal our planet and all of its life.